Hi guys and welcome to my channel. Today we're going to be talking about one of my favorite Bulgarian models, Stanimira Koleva Klenovsky. She's a top model of the Visage Model Agency based in Bulgaria. Born in Stara Zagora, Bulgaria, she is now married with three beautiful girls and a French bulldog puppy. She has been really successful and shot campaigns for Azaro perfume and a TV ad for the same brand. She has also worked with the French agency Elite and the American agency Wilhelmina. Some of her recent work engagements include campaigns for Pantene, Adolfo Dominguez, Brown, Nexus, Sunsilk, Vela and L'Oreal. Stanimira is a professional model who began her career in 2000 when she won the Visages Model Contest. She was placed first place. Since then she has established herself as a top model in the industry with a career that spans over two decades. Throughout her career, Stanimira has shot photo sessions for a variety of prestigious magazines and publications, including, including Atypic, the German edition of GQ, Amica, Glamour, Marie Claire, Madame Figaro, Ocean Drive, Harper's Bazaar, Elle France, and Walter Butte. Her work has been featured in some of the most iconic and respected fashion publications in the world, showcasing her versatility and range as a model. Despite her success, Stanimira remains grounded and dedicated to her craft. She is set to return to Bulgaria in a couple of months to attend this year's edition of the Visage Models Competition, a contest that was instrumental in launching her career. Her participation in this contest serves as a reminder of her humble beginnings and her continued commitment to the industry. Stanimira's professional journey is an inspiration to aspiring models everywhere, providing that with hard work and determination, one can achieve great success in the competitive world of fashion. In an interview for Vogue Bulgaria, she shares some really interesting thoughts. She is one of the most beautiful Bulgarian models we know, but in our conversation there is not a word about photo sessions for Vogue or even about fashion. We meet with her only a week before the premiere of the new Bulgarian film Puzzle, a love drama, in which our beautiful lady makes her debut alongside one of the faces of the new Bulgarian cinema and theatre, Asen Blatechki. That's why our conversation revolves around the difficult first kiss in front of the camera, the change from heavy cubicles to elegant high heels, Alice in Chains and the pros and cons of the first live performance of Guns N' Roses in Sofia. This is your debut film role. Surely the shooting was quite a scary experience. Stanimira shares, when I started working in fashion I was barely 16. I found myself in a foreign country with a metro card and many engagements. I had no idea where I was. I felt the same way when I started filming. I had big concerns about whether I would manage. But then we rehearsed for a month and I managed to get to know the other actors and they quickly got me into the mood so everything became easier. Actors often say that the first kiss on camera is the most difficult thing to do. What was it the same for you? Yes, it was definitely the most difficult thing for me. Asen and I didn't know each other, so it was strange to suddenly be so close and intimate with a stranger. But the director helped us a lot. He explained everything and made us feel comfortable. And after the first take, everything went smoothly. In your debut in the movies, you are forced to partner with a well-known and established actor like Asen Blatechki. What was the feeling? Honestly, before working on Puzzle, I knew very little about Asen. I was not aware that he is so famous and that he is a Bulgarian sex symbol. I even wondered when we were filming a scene on Rakovsky, many people stopped, congratulated him and wanted autographs. With Asen it's very easy to work. At no point did he make me feel like a debutant or gave me instructions from the position of the big actor. Rather he claimed me rather he calmed, calmed me down and helped me forget that we were filming. 
which made everything very pleasant. Besides life and work in Paris, have you probably missed the new Bulgarian films? Oh yes, but now I'm catching up. Thank God most of them are already on DVD or online. I really liked The Island, although I had to watch it twice because the first time it was a little confusing, but on the second screening I understood and evaluated the film. Also Cats, um, Drift, Mission London, Steps in the Sand. It seems to me that at the moment it is an exceptional stage in the development of Bulgarian cinema. Do you see yourself continuing to work in Bulgarian movies in the future? Oh, of course, I would love to continue working in Bulgarian movies in the future. I think that the Bulgarian cinema has a lot of potential and it would be a privilege to be a part of it. But at the same time, I also want to work on international projects to gain new experience and to show my work to a wider audience. What are the advantages and disadvantages of the big cities in which you have lived so far? New York, a city in which I would never live with my family, um, despite speaking excellent French and having lived in Paris for the longest time, I still find the locals to be quiet, closed off and reserved, reserved towards foreigners. London reminds me a lot of New York, but in a European version. It's cleaner, there are more parks and greenery, and it's easy to imagine living there with children and a family. As for the good things about Sofia, my relatives are here. Honestly, I can't think of any other positives. The interesting thing is that before you dive into the world of fashion, you were a rebel with a bag and beads. <laughs> my mother can tell you all about that. She often reminds me of my teenage years and says that she's looking forward to my daughter giving it back to me in the same way. Because I went through a tough puberty, I was a rebel, declared war on everything, modern, wore beads, bags and my father's, my father's sweaters. At one point I had to take off the beads and put on trousers and proper shirts, which was a real shock. What were you listening to then? First I listened to The Doors and Deep Purple, then Nirvana, Red Hot Chili Peppers, Pearl Jam and Alice in Chains appeared. Do you have time for music and concerts these days? Oh yes, and I'm glad that I continue to listen to the same music as then and I don't miss a concert of my favorite band. I enjoyed um, RHCP as a child, I also went to Sofia Rocks with Guns and Roses, but I was a little disappointed there. The model was very generous for another interview for El Bulgaria. The top model of the agency Visage, Mira Koleva, has been living for many years between Paris, London and New York. Her French agency is planning for a big career and her engagements all over the world prove it. The brilliance of Mira as a world-class top model like Giselle Bunhen and Kate Moss is captured in a moment like in a movie. This is the moment she meets her great love, Bulgarian businessman, businessman Kirill Klenovsky, with whom she creates a family of wonder and show. Three beautiful girls and a dog with the musical name Bono and a life that revolves around the most secure axis of the world, love. We speak with her in the following words. Some of your classmates managed to balance career and family. Why did you choose to want the one-way street to family happiness? Mira shares, the decision came naturally. Things just fell into place as I always dreamed. The culprit may be love, I live in the fairy tale of my life, I feel fulfilled and truly myself only when I'm with my family and close friends. My family and children are my true happiness. I am grateful that I can fully devote myself to them. I have three beautiful daughters and every moment with them is priceless. The truth is, when I retire from my career in Paris, London and New York, I never imagined that I would still have the opportunity to work with fashion here in Bulgaria. Do you miss anything from the years spent on the catwalks in New York, Milan and Paris? I think I experienced those years fully. They remain as my fondest memories, but now I'm living in the present, which is so full. 
if you were to go back would you make the same decisions again Yes, because it's endlessly beautiful to find your soulmate and to enjoy the beautiful moments with our children together. And here are some very interesting thoughts from Stanimira Koleva for, from an interview for EVE magazine Bulgaria. Stanimira Koleva in a special interview for EVE, which she gave during her last visit to Bulgaria. Describe yourself in three words. Hmm. Easily surrender, but then catch up to fight. Excessively naive. Now I have learned not to trust so much. Cheerful, always say what I think. Maybe more than I should. What annoys you and what makes you happy? Hypocrisy annoys me. The happiness of people, love and good gestures make me happy. The last time you were proud to be Bulgarian. That was when I appeared on the cover of Brazilian Vogue. There are a few Bulgarian faces on the world stage nowadays and that was one of the few moments that I could proudly show off that I am from Bulgaria. Languages you speak? I speak German, English, Russian. I graduated from a Russian language high school in Stara Zagora and a little Italian. Currently, I'm improving my French to take an exam that will give me the right to apply for the fall semester at the university in Paris. Your big, your big dream is oh, to learn marketing and advertising or finance in France. I think it will take another 3-4 years to actively pursue modeling and study at the same time. I want to work for a well-known designer like Ralph Lauren or Bulgari. If it wasn't for modeling, you would now be, oh, I would definitely be a third year student in Bulgaria. What is more important, appearance or charisma? I think the latter. I know many beautiful girls who didn't succeed because they didn't have charisma but had the appearance. Ideal role model? I don't have one. I like Kate Moss and Karolina Kurkova though. The most challenging portrayal during a photo shoot. Before coming to Bulgaria, I had a photo shoot with a colleague um, for the FHM magazine at the famous Parisian cemetery Pere Lachaise. We were dressed appropriately in a rock and roll style. What is the most difficult makeup you have ever done? It was artificial eyelashes with prepared insects in Japan. Have you ever turned down a job that's incompatible with your principles? I wouldn't pose completely naked, as well as in um, different weird scenes, or I wouldn't want to like kiss other people. I also refuse to kiss men. Um, would you refuse to pose for Playboy? I never exclude anything because one never knows. What was an incident during shooting? Oh, once in Tokyo during the winter on the street, my coat fell off and I remained in underwear. I was very embarrassed and angry despite the fact that they immediately tried to cover me with a blanket. And one funny thing, we walked around the strip bars on Pigalle Street in Paris towards the shooting location and I heard, you're, you're very weak, you need to bulk up. What you don't forget to put in your suitcase. That would be photos of the family and friends, um, headache medicine, stomach and anti-allergic medicine. I like to have them on hand just in case. Some of your favorite cosmetics. Elizabeth Arden's 8 hour cream indispensable for irritation a vin thermal water spray moisturizing cream my skin is dry and in airplanes it dries out even more and obviously lip balm for lips also if Saint Laurent's hot ferment eye couture against wrinkles dark circles and wrinkles clothes that best describe you I would say jeans I prefer those from the brands diesel and miss 60 favorite designer that would be Valentino, but also I love to wear dresses from Dan von Furstenberg. Did you wish for something from the laundry you demonstrated? Oh, some La Perla briefs, 
only those caught my eye because I have a weak um, ankle. I couldn't buy them, they weren't in the stores. The most luxurious lingerie in your wardrobe. And the most luxurious piece of clothing. Oh, that would be a little black dress by Armani for special occasions. Preferred color? Oh, every color except red. From the accessories you like. I wear earrings and necklaces. I don't like rings and bracelets. Maybe because I lose them. Right now I can't remember my favorite bracelet from Tiffany. A gift from my friend. Whether I lost it or it stayed in France. Your special occasion underwear is from... Oh, that's Calvin Klein and Victoria's Secret. I'm partial to pale blue and black. I rarely wear, wear white. What do you like about your appearance and what would you change? I like my face and hair. I would fix my ears because they stuck out a lot. They've tried to fix them with tape during photos but it doesn't work. But to be honest, now I have learned to appreciate everything and I wouldn't change anything. This means that you are you are for plastic surgery. I think every woman has the right to allow it after 30 or 40 years of age. I would not do it with a professional goal for more or but for personal satisfaction. I researched plastic surgery on years, but for now I'm postponing it because I'm just too scared and obviously I don't think I'll do it. How does your day go? I wake up around 8 or 9. Um, go to castings or shoot all day, then um, I would just relax at 6 or 7. I do reading, watching TV on Saturday and Sunday. I'm really, really lazy. I go to the movies, watch all kinds of movies except for action. I also like books about history. Currently, I'm reading the history of France. Um, in fact, in any country I go, I like to read the history so that I'm aware and I'm more educated about it. How often do you train? I train minimum three times a week after work for an hour and or hour and a half in the fitness uh, with a personal trainer. Maximum, uh, minimum every day, sometimes on Saturday, but for less time. Once a week I have yoga classes, the rest of the days full body training. For example, 30 minutes of the core and 45 minutes for the rest of the body. The exercises usually involve weights for the hands and legs or include kettlebells. How do you relax from stress? Yoga works well for me and spending time with friends, reading, watching a movie and listening to music. Personal guru when it comes to choosing cosmetics or food? None. I gather information about cosmetics news from makeup artists and I eat accordingly to the needs of my body. Sometimes I read women's magazines. Your daily menu? I have a hearty breakfast of yogurt, muesli or cornflakes with fruits. Fruits are my favorite fruit. At lunch I have a green salad with tuna fish, cauliflower, tomatoes, cucumber or mushroom. I like to, to prepare it myself and experiment. Dinner is no later than 6 or 7 p.m. Baked or boiled or stewed fish with a side dish of steamed vegetables. I haven't been eating bread for like 2-3 years. Only 1-2 slices of whole grain bread a week. What do you do to lose weight? Currently I am 52 kilograms. If I gain a few, I have mostly reached 55, which is a lot for a, for a model. Um, then I immediately switch to fruits. I lose weight in a week by eating only one type of fruit in unlimited quantities. I, al I also detoxify in this way. I'm not one of those models that would consciously harm themselves. I know enough about bulimia and anorexia so i wouldn't i wouldn't do that what else do you do for detoxif detoxification one to two times a week i go to sauna or steam room at a fitness club i don't stay long because it makes me dizzy but i sweat a lot and it's good for my skin i also drink a lot of water and i don't drink any coffee or tea do you drink alcohol rarely usually vodka and only when i go out with friends usually a glass also of red wine do you smoke? No, I quit cigarettes four months ago because I realized how much um, the damage they do to the skin and now it's more alive and less tired. Any home remedies? 
only cucumber slices on the eyes and that's after a sleepy, sleepless night. I don't like to uh, rub these on my skin. Preferred cosmetic products. I love the French cream embryol embryolis, which I use on the advice of makeup artists. It is sold in pharmacies and protects the skin from drying out. Even in Japan it's popular. From makeup artists I also learned about the cleansing lotion for face and eyes Sensi, Sensi Bio H2O by Bioderma without alcohol. I like the hydrating and refreshing cream from the um, job line by Christian Dior on water base as well as Hydrazen and the cleansing comfort line by Lancome in your cosmetic bag you have I have concealer pencil to chocolate by Yves Saint Laurent three types of leaf balms against chopping and drying Bell Labs, Aveen and Carmex, Gloss Juice Tubes, Black Eyeliner and Pencil, all by Lancome, and Powder in the form of Pearls, Meteorites by Guerlain. You don't, you don't leave your body without. Uh, that would be Body Butter Oil by the English brand Body Shop because my skin is dry. I exfoliate my skin two times a week again with a scrub from the same brand. My latest discovery is an anti cellulite oil by Veleda and I love it. For or against artificial tanning. Before I, visit, before I used to visit the solarium but after consulting with the doctors I stopped. Do you, do you burn easily? before I didn't take my shirt off but since I um but since that because of the difference I kind of use like a monokini in the summer my face cream by Lancome or Vichy is with factor 30 I try and my makeup to be with SPF how do you deal with the frizz I brush my hair to the collarbone and um, underarms during the day or every day I clean my hands um, a few times a year one day for face shoots in a close-up I zipped with a tweezers two three strands above my lips your attitude towards tattoos and piercings I won't get a tattoo but I like them as I already said I'm scared and I can't stand the pain I tried piercing on my belly button long time ago but my body rejected the ring on Botox injections? I don't like them. The face is too artificial, there is no mimic and you can't laugh. I know from the lumps in the lips when my classmates um, used to use silicone. Favorite fragrance? Every fragrance reminds me of something uh, I have experienced and have memories. During the day I use Romance and Glamorous by Ralph Lauren, Noah by Cachoreau and Emporio Armani by and She by Emporio Armani, Light Blue by Dolce & Gabbana and Lodice by Issey Miyake. My evening perfumes are Omnia by Bulgari and Allure by Chanel. Thank you for watching and please like and subscribe and give your support to this channel if you want to see more interesting and iconic inspiring women. Have a lovely day or evening. Thanks. Bye.